Hello angels! Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know already, I'm Hazel Sims. I'm Hazel Sims. <laughs> and today we're gonna be creating very someone very special. Um, in my last video, we went and we chatted about the new stuff pack, the new paranormal um, stuff pack that Sims 4 is putting out on January 26th. I'm very excited about it. Some people aren't, some people are. I'm one of them who are. Um, I think it's going to be a good addition and a good stuff pack. It's very inclusive, has so much stuff in it, and gameplay, and a new career, and new skills. It's awesome. But anyway, um, we're going to be creating a mystic, and we're actually going to be creating three of them. Um, I kind of like how this battle, well, it's not really a battle. I kind of like picked up on some vibes of the new pack. I obviously don't know for sure, but I'm pretty positive. It's mostly the clothing is very 70s theme and a lot of the stuff is as well, but it's also kind of like has potential to be this like 1920s style vibe. And so we're going to be creating three different Sims, mystic Sims. They're going to be like the seance leaders, your, you know, crystal ball reader. Um, and this one, Matilda, Miss Matilda is my 1920s styled um mystic and i'm really excited so let's just get into it okay <laughs> so like i said before we're gonna be creating miss matilda today um i started off giving her some like tattoos i didn't really know that she was gonna be or that i was gonna be doing these different themed um <laughs> sims until like further in, I kind of knew I wanted to give her this like, you know, vintage vibe, especially this sim. That's why I gave her that body preset. It's the, what's it, I think Freak Body. Um, I'm not sure who it's by, but it is linked below. Um, I love that preset. It's awesome. It's got those like super dipped, um, you know, stomach and hips. I love that. Um, but yeah, we didn't really know that she was going to be who she was until the very end. And we actually ended up giving her a very cute vibe and then switching it up completely. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so don't get too attached to the way she starts to look because she's going to look a little bit, well, a lot of bit different by the end of the video. Um, and that's just kind of what I do. I tweak my Sims until I find something that I'm like, yes, I'll do this. this is perfect. Um, love these eyebrows. I think those ones are by, I actually have my CC list here so I can share with you guys here in the video, um, by Occubus Sims. They make a lot of the like CC that I use and presets that I use. Um, I also use these eyes. I use these eye presets for pretty much all of my Sims and let's see, um, they are by who is it by? Oh, there it is. Miss Ruby Bird um, created these eyes, presets I use. I use the non-defaults. Um, I think that she has some face paint ones and some default eyes if you wanted those too. I'm pretty sure it comes in the pack. Don't hold me to it though, I could be wrong. <laughs> Flipping through some hairs, trying to figure out what we wanted to do. Um, I went with this at first. So this is what I wanted and she's so cute, I think already. She's got more like witchy vibes though, which I didn't hate, but we definitely played a lot and we switched her hair up. We made her totally kind of different looking by the end of the video and um, yeah, so don't get too attached like I said. <laughs> If you want to look for this hair, I'm not sure where it is. I'll try to find it um, and link it below as a little extra because it is so cute. I love it with the hat that just comes naturally. You can't take off the hat, unfortunately, but that's just what it is and I love it. Um, going with these eyelashes by my dream girl lashes. Yes, my dream girl lashes. I use these a lot now. I used to use those 3D lashes by, I think it's like, her name is... Kijo or something like that. Those, the main 3D lashes that most people use. Um, but I've been loving, I've been like exploring new 3D lashes that people are making. I love them. I love these ones. I use the Dream Girl lashes like all the time <laughs> now. Um, giving her some blush. Use the one by Miko. Like I said, all of this will be linked below. So if you're getting confused about all the things I'm saying, it'll all be there for you guys. 
Sorry if I'm like too close to my mic. Um, yeah, see, we ended up switching her lips because I just couldn't find a lipstick that like fit right. I just couldn't, so we switched to these. Honestly, I think it's cuter. I think she's, those lips are so cute and they're like pouty and love them. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we ended up taking off her tattoos also after the outfit. I knew I wanted to give her like a corset or something like kind of witchy vibed. Um, I thought maybe this would be cute in black or maybe this one in like the blue. I love that. It's so cute. So pretty. Um, and then I think I found, what did I find? I went through some skirts. I was having some trouble with her to be honest with you <laughs> at first, but I love what we ended up coming out with so stick around to the end and you'll see um i loved this skirt so i was like okay i'm gonna take off everything and start over um i love that skirt i think that's the one i ended up going with and yes this is this corset i used it's by the corset is by candy sims or candy sims 4 on tumblr if you wanted to look her up but the link will be below if you wanted to find it so um, it's a Patreon exclusive, so you might have to subscribe or become a Patreon. I'm not sure, but do it. It's always important to support creators. So, yes. Um, yes, wanted the corset, wanted the skirt, thought about maybe using some CC shoes, but then I just was like, eh, I kind of like the EA shoes best, so I left them. <laughs> I thought they looked good. Um, and I was like, her hair's kind of like, I need some on her head. And yeah, so I went with this beret, and the beret can be found by, it is by May, Mab, Mab B, CC Finds. Oh, I think it's kind of from a CC Finds person, but who is it actually by? It's a recolor. I don't know. It's down there. I love this beret. I use it like all the time. I use it for a lot of my sims, to be honest with you. Um, yes, the makeup, but I wanted to give her like a very dark eyed vibe. Um, you know, cause she's mystic. She's got that like, I'm a bad girl vibe. And then look at me always trying to find an accessory top to put under every shirt I have. <laughs> but then we found these gloves. Yes, I love these gloves. Um, they just kind of added, this is where I started was like, okay, she's 1920s. I'm gonna do three different Sims. One of them's gonna be 1920s. The next one's gonna be kind of like 1975 or 1970s vibe. And then the third one is gonna be um, just kind of what I wanted to create. More like modern, kind of true to today, like what we would create as a mystic today. Um, she's kind of got, you'll see. Uh, <laughs> you gotta wait three days though. So today we're doing 1920s. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing the 1970s. And then the next day we'll be doing my style of mystic that I created. So you'll be able to download all these sims and um, play with them in your game, make them your mystics in the new pa stuff pack that comes out. Um, but yeah, we gave her a little personality named her Miss Matilda. And yeah, stick around for the end because there will be a little tiny short teaser. I hope that you like this video and I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time, okay? Subscribe and like if you like this video! <laughs>